Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. So if you guys are new here, I run a small business called Hey Libby Lou. And so today I am going to be comparing and contrasting different kinds of sticker paper. I have been using this big box of online labels, weatherproof sticker paper. Comparison if you're new here. Um, these are just some of the most recent stickers that I have done in my most recent launch. So we have just some fun stuff happening um, and I just also launched my website. Just some plugs I guess in the beginning of this video. Lately I've been wanting to venture out of online labels. If you are a part of the sticker and art and small business community mostly everyone uses online labels it's like very like everyone uses it and that's why i picked it to begin with but as you can see i only have like so many sheets left this was a pack of 250 and i bought this back in september i started my job in august and i am still going strong on this big box so since i was running out i wanted to sort of try other sticker papers to see what the quality would be like so going into the comparison so this is what we will be sort of using as the base of our comparison today um, since this is what I have been using. I now have over 1300 sales on Etsy and everyone says that the stickers are great quality but again just wanted to make a fun video and compare. So I got these two types of sticker paper off of Amazon and so with these ones I have heard good things about them and so with these this one right here is Joyeza I got this from Amazon if you just search printable vinyl sticker paper um, you should find it and so this says it is vinyl sticker paper and it comes with 20 sheets and it is for inkjet and laser and then this other one that I got was recommended to me by some other small business owners and sticker makers. So this company is J&J &J Packaging. This is from Amazon as well. And this is printable vinyl sticker paper for inkjet and laser printers. And this is 30 sheets glossy. I will put all of the links of everything um, in the description for you guys if you guys want to check these out. I am basically going to be trying out each of these, um, just the sticker paper by itself, and then I will also be doing a comparison with a laminating sheet on top of it too. And so for reference, the laminating sheet that I will be using today are these Scotch single-sided self-seal laminating sheets. Um, for reference, I typically use the Avery self-laminating um, self-seal laminating sheets, but they were out of stock on Amazon and I heard scotch was really good and I've been using these for my newest stickers and I really like the quality of this so I think I might like stick with scotch, but I will be doing basically the paper by itself and then with the laminate and then we'll be doing like a sticky test, a water test and all of that good stuff. So that was a really long intro. I talked a lot, but we will go into making the stickers now and seeing which one is the best. So the first one we're going to test is online labels. So I do already have stickers made with a laminating sheet on top, um, so we'll test those ones out, but I will make them um, for the test just the paper so we can see what it is like without the laminating sheet. A lot of people ask me what's the point of putting a laminating sheet on top if this paper is already weatherproof, but we will find out how it is. Okay, so we're going to print out my March freebie stickers for these um, since I don't have the laminate on these. 
And I am also using my HP Envy Photo 7155 printer for anyone who is curious. So we're gonna print these and then we're going to cut them with my Cricut Maker and then we shall see. Alright guys, so I have them all printed out and cut, so now I guess we're going to do just first reactions of each kind of sticker. So we'll start with the online labels weatherproof without the laminate. So first glance is that it's just very thin and paper-like. I feel like I wouldn't be comfortable charging someone three dollars and fifty cents for this um just because it is very just paper-y and i know it says weatherproof but i like my stickers to have a little bit more durability um it did print the color well um i do make sure my printer settings are at specialty paper and that it is thick so it prints well, um, but that is first glances of that one. And so now this one is online labels weatherproof with the scotch laminate. So this is what I have been using for my stickers. So as you can see a little bit with the light, um, it does have a more glossy finish. And just with the laminate, it does just feel way better quality and it doesn't feel like as bendy it is more durable and i just like how it feels a lot better um and obviously i'm a little biased towards this because i've been using it for months so that is the online labels and then this one is the joyeza without the laminate so this one feels more thin than the online labels um, by itself. So this one is pretty flimsy, I would say, especially when I put it on my Cricut mat. Um, it did take color well. I do like the color, um, but again, without a laminate, I just feel like the quality just isn't there for me. Um, and yeah, that's all I really have to say about this one. And also, the, the feeling of this one isn't too different than the online labels, honestly. And when you buy bulk in online labels, it would be cheaper to get online labels versus this, which only comes in a pack of 20. And then this one is the Joyeza with the Scotch laminate on top. So, again, this one is going to be more glossy. Um, I do like how this one turned out just because it was very similar to the online labels um it's more durable so that is the joyeza paper and then lastly is j and j packaging so this one is very interesting and different from the other two because this paper is actually glossy already so you don't really need a laminate if i'm being honest for this specific paper. They do offer their paper in both matte and glossy, but I wanted to buy it in glossy just because I do like glossy stickers. So this one is already glossy when you feel it, but the stra really strange thing about this specific paper is that it feels sticky. So I was playing around with like all of these and it like sticks to your finger and it's like has a sticky sensation to it it's not like the paper is a sticker but it's just like sticky and i've ordered stickers from another business before and they i now i know that they use this paper because it gave off this really weird like texture so I don't like how that feels just personally, um, how it's like sticky like that, I don't know. Um, but that was the only con that I saw without laminate for J&J &J packaging. And then this is J&J &J packaging with the laminate. 
So I do like how it feels a lot better because of the laminate. Um, but the only thing that I noticed with the laminate, I don't know if you guys can tell on this specific sticker, but there were a few, even when I put the sheet through my laminator, there were some bubbles that were popping up, like you can see on this one right here. And so I think I would have to try and like press them even more, but there was some weird stuff happening on the sheet. I don't know if it was because the paper for this one is already glossy, so it was creating some air bubbles when you go to put a laminating sheet on it, but that is just what happened there. Um, but the quality is um, definitely thicker than the other two with the laminate. This one is definitely the thickest, probably because the paper itself is already glossy and a thicker vinyl that is printed on. So those are just first glances of all of them. And as you can see, just like a overview, they did all print pretty much the same color wise. Um, so I didn't see any drastic differences with the color from the printer. So they're all very similar in that aspect, but now I'm going to do a stickiness test and see how the stickiness is for each one. Okay guys, so I just got a cup from my kitchen that I don't really drink out of. So I'm gonna take these stickers and see how the stickiness is for each one. Um, see if they peel, um, if they actually are good at adhering to the cup since the cup is different from like putting it on your laptop or anything since there is some curve there so we are going to test that out so the first one I'm gonna put on the cup is gonna be the online labels weatherproof just peeling it off like that and just from touching it it's very sticky. I've been using these ones, obviously, so I'm familiar with these. So I'm going to put this one um, on the back at the top, right there. So there is the first one, and this one is the one that doesn't have laminate. So that is the first one. Here are all of our sticker friends so they all look very similar to each other and um i will see what it's like with the stickiness but they are all are like pretty much the same yeah now we're going to see how it is like um washing it and we will see what the colors look like and if any of these are actually 100% waterproof or if they are water resistant um we shall see so stickiness wise i think they're all pretty good still so next test coming up okay guys so now we are going to test the water um for these stickers because a lot of people want to know if they are 100% waterproof so they could put them on their hydro flasks or cups like these um, and we can see how they do. So I'm just going to give them all a good rinse and then I think I'm actually going to use some soap if I were actually washing this right now. So. Let's see what happens. Okay, so also with the washing on the cup, I also just wanted to do like a sticker dunk test in the water. I saw one of my other small business friends did this to test out her stickers. So I'm just gonna be taking a little bowl and I'm going to leave the stickers in there um, for 
the time being of me filming the rest of this video and then we're going to see how they were just from being submerged in the water to see how those stickers turn out. So we're going to be doing that additional test as well. This one is the online labels without laminate. So we're just going to dunk these in here and see how they do in a couple minutes. All right, we have all of them dunked and we are just going to wait and see how they hold up. Okay guys, so I am back with the cup. So I hand washed it and I used like my scrub sponge to really scrub it um, to reenact myself cleaning a dirty cup. Um, I wouldn't recommend ever like putting your stickers in the dishwasher um, just because that could really mess them up and I've never really heard of like completely dishwasher safe um, handmade stickers that you make with your Cricut so I wouldn't advise that but these this is what has happened to these since we last saw them so let's start with online labels um, weather proof without the laminate so this is this top one is what has occurred with online labels so nothing really happened to her honestly um she actually turned out pretty good i was surprised um that she held up that well getting scrubbed and all that stuff with water and then on the bottom is the online labels with the scotch laminate and again nothing really happened to her either um and the only thing is that on the side of the online labels one with the laminate specifically it did start to peel on the very right side i don't know if it's going to focus um because of my face but it did start to peel a little bit on the right. Um, but if I press down, it does stick back to the cup again. Um, there was one time, like back in December, someone reached out to me saying that their stickers were not sticky anymore after they washed their hydro flask. And I was very sad about to hear that. Um, but it does look like I was able to stick it back and it looks 100% fine. Um, and the top one, looks great like i'm very proud of online labels right now she really pulled through so the top one is really good and the bottom one is good as well there was just a little bit of peeling and so let's go to joyeza which was the one on the right so as you can see the one without the laminate um sort of flopped so from the scrubbing and the water Obviously, you guys can see that the color is no longer uh, on the bottom. And so I think you could just tell that without the laminate, the color is going to run and not look too great. So I would not recommend getting Joyeza without putting a laminate on top of it. And then this is what it looks like with the laminate. So obviously the laminate did save, um, save her. So it looks pretty good with the laminate. So I am not complaining about that. And also regarding like adhesion, they both stayed on very nicely. Um, there was no peeling with this one. Um, compared to online labels where it did peel just a little bit but other than that um, it stayed on really nicely but just the one without the laminate did not stay at all so I do not recommend doing that if you're not gonna add a laminate so now we are switching to J&J packaging which is the last brand I am testing today so this is what it looks like without the laminate so this one it's i don't know it's just again the texture for me it's like a weird texture i don't know it's probably just me but who knows it did stay on pretty well um but i think i would prefer online labels to this one um 
for the online labels doing so well just bare and also the texture of online labels is just way better than the j and j packaging one this one is just feels really weird to me um versus online labels is smooth and i like how that one feels better but this one still did better than joyeza and then this is what the j and j packaging looks like with the scotch laminate on top so it came out looking pretty good no problems at all um i think it did a pretty good job so 10 out of 10 um but yeah the only thing was that the texture is weird and also um this one is starting to peel a little bit and then as i was just looking the side of the joyeza one with the laminate is starting to peel a little bit as well and i think this might just be a laminate issue um since the laminate is thicker it makes the sticker thick so when you're putting it against a cup or anything like that um there is a chance for it to peel a little bit just off of the surface just because it is just thicker and more durable so when you look at it from the side it's like harder to bend because it wants to stay straight so obviously putting these stickers on let's say your laptop um will increase the longevity of it versus putting it on a cup so they all sort of did peel but you could just literally simply press it back into place and then it will be good to go so yeah that is the cup situation and now we're gonna go back to the water bowls okay guys so we are back at the water dunk stations okay guys and here is a closer view of them after the dunk test so starting from the bottom is the joyeza with laminate and then without it these ones honestly like did like decent but with the laminate it bled around the corners um these two is online labels and yeah, online labels. Top one is without a laminate. It did completely fine, did not bleed at all. But with the laminate, it bled around the corners, which is weird. I don't know what that's about. And then this one is the J&J &J packaging. Obviously the top one um, bled a lot and even into the white color. So I would not recommend doing J&J &J packaging for um, being waterproof. And if you don't do it with a laminate and then with the laminate it did slightly bleed around the corners the edges of the color but yeah that is what those look like okay and then very last test i'm going to do is just peel test off of these so i wanted to see how easy it would be to take these off and so starting with the joyeza one since this one is already peeling um it looks like it peels off very easily which is nice it didn't even leave a residue at all okay guys so final thoughts on these stickers that i have been comparing for what seems like forever so the one that did the best in all of the tests was the online labels with no laminate so i was very surprised because i had never tested this without a laminate and so it like stayed completely fine the whole time um it passed the test for washing on the cup um it also passed the test for it being submerged for 10 minutes and it also passed like the color bleed test and it is the only one out of all six where none no colors bled at all so this is definitely the winner if you are not going to use laminate um but my only thing is that i like putting a laminate over my stickers because if you've never felt sticker paper before it just feels like very cheap and like not well made um for reference i do have a few sticker mule stickers made and if you don't know sticker mule is a sticker printing company where you could get your stickers outsourced from and this is so thick and so durable it's insane and this just online labels by itself without um without a laminate just feels so cheap so i don't want to sell my stickers 
without a laminate because it just feels so cheap but it was the only one that passed every single test so that's saying something but i wish there was something that could make them feel just more thicker more durable um and all that but the best one that had the one with the laminate I would say is the Joyeza one so with that one it had the most minimal bleeding for the color with the submersion test and also with the being on the cup honestly all of them were pretty good on the cup um with the hand scrubbing and all of that um but with the submersion test it just did the best with that if you're submerging your stickers for 10 minutes i don't really know but i think it did the best with that the online labels one with the laminate is the one that bled the most which is very strange to me because without the laminate it did not bleed so i don't know if the laminate is causing it to bleed if someone can explain the science to me, I'd love to know. But that is that. Um, and also, while I was filming this video, um, I was posting some of it in my Instagram story. And one of my small business friends, Crafts by Tessa, actually DM'd me and told me that she uses this brand of sticker paper called QYH. And she uses their matte white waterproof decal paper sheets so that is worth to try as well that sounds very interesting so i might look into that one too but for all of these with laminate they're not 100 percent waterproof definitely they will keep their color on a cup if you're just quickly hand washing it dishwasher i don't think it will survive in there because of obviously the 10 minute sticker submersion test i don't think they will survive a dishwasher but for the most part the stickers um did well without the laminate for online labels and joyeza j and j packaging i do not really recommend just because of the stickiness of it but overall online labels without the laminate and joyeza with laminate so that is the end of this sticker comparison video um i hope you guys were able to gain some knowledge for what kind of sticker paper you should try out um again i feel like everyone should do this test to see and make sure the quality that they're putting out for your stickers so I definitely recommend everyone to do this. So I hope this helped you guys though and this was a really fun YouTube video to make. Let me know what other kind of small business videos you guys want to see on my channel and all that good stuff. So this is the end of the video and I hope you guys liked it. And if you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Leave some comments down below for me and then don't forget to follow me on my business Instagram at Hey Libby Lou, and then don't forget to follow me on there and also my TikTok. All usernames are the exact same. I also just launched my website, heylibbylou.com. You can also find me on Etsy at heylibbylou.etsy.com. And then lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. And there will be more small business videos to come. So I hope you guys liked this sticker comparison video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.